think probably all my life I've wanted to be a farmer. When I was a little kid, I would ride on the equipment and so on, and it just seemed like a good, good way to be. There's a lot of aspects to farming that are unique, so you get your fix in terms of the business environment, but you're also able to do other things, work outdoors, work with people, and it's a rewarding field to be in. You can see the labors of your hands every day. Well, farming's changed. I mean, probably farmers need to go to college a long time before they started to. One of the big things is a strong science background. A big portion of agriculture still is agronomy based, so you have to understand the biological and plant processes that are going on in order to achieve those top yields. As far as education, uh, botany, plant physiology, plant morphology, biological processes, basically just biology itself. So much happens with the plant. Um, for plant-based agriculture, and certainly for animal-based agriculture, it's the same way. All of those different functions that all living beings have, for someone to have a background there, it puts them several steps ahead rather than just a library science degree. And then I think also a handle on technology. Technology has revolutionized farming, and you need to be able to stay current. You need to be able to handle modern electronics. The tractors now have everything from uh, from Bluetooth radio to auto steer to uh, cloud-based data management. I can sit in our office here and I can monitor what people are doing with our tractors from, well, virtually anywhere on the globe. You can do things such as a geofence. I can stop a tractor from moving with a click of a switch. Uh, I can change the amount of product somebody is putting out by adjusting some formulas on a desktop computer. So uh, it's not quite robotic, but it's approaching that. Looking at the last several years is kind of the golden age of agriculture. It's uh, a lot of opportunities. We see new markets opening up. There's a lot of uses for ag products. Our climate, our soils are well suited to grain production here, especially in Eastern North Carolina. Corn is a, now it's nationally ethanol, so it's a, it's a fuel as well as a food. Uh, we have a good livestock industry in this state. Corn is the main staple of that industry, so we enjoy a better price than other parts of the country. Wheat is similar, as well as soybeans. Uh, it's also part of an animal diet. One of the things that um, non-farm people don't realize about agriculture is all the different things that are going on. I think a speaker circuit would be a good idea to let high school students know about the future of agriculture. And also agriculture is broader than just farmers. Many of your large agribusiness uh, companies or your large biotech companies are complaining about people without a strong background in science. And so if there were to be a person who could enlighten high school students that there's a future in the sciences, that there's a future in agriculture, that would be a tremendous benefit.